Hello, everybody. And I want to say welcome. I just, hi, I asked you all for a little bit of an introduction, and that's for me, just so I can kind of organize everybody a little bit. It's, it's a lot easier to know that than it is to know um, an R number for someone. But, you know, I, I was like, oh, I asked you for an introduction, so let me do a little one myself. So, hi. Um, my name's Gordon, and I'm a dietitian. So I got my uh, master's and my bachelor's in dietetics from Texas Tech. And I also went and I got my CDM CFPP from the University of Florida. And we'll, we'll get into that in a little bit. I, uh, I work for the Veterans Administration. I am the advanced practice dietitian for Thomas E. Creek Medical Center. And my specialization is in gerontology, which they call the Jerry Valor program, and in palliative and hospice care, which they call the palliative and hospice care program. I wanted to give you a picture of the team I work with over there, because I've never actually had one. Every place I've ever been, I've been the solo dietitian. I did not know. We actually did a fun little get together. We all, you know, meet and greet. We took a, a group picture for our website um, I was going to use that, but then I found out that I have to get permission first from everybody and from the VA, and I did not know that. So you're going to have to trust me that these people exist for right now, okay? So background on one here. I actually began uh, my professional life, my adult life, as a uh, artist. I studied art, fine art, and graphic design, and my whole goal was to be a graphic designer. I realized as I went through school that I kind of struggled to get assignments done. I just didn't like doing it. And finally, I had a good friend point out to me. He's like, man, you don't want to be a graphic designer. You want to be an artist. And uh, you know, by that, he meant I want to be able to do what I want to do. I don't like doing assignments for other people. And uh, he's right, which did make it difficult <laughs> professionally being successful as a graphic designer. So how did we get from graphic design to dietetics? Um, my roadmap. So I realized I wasn't going to use what I was studying in school. So I took a job as a dishwasher at a local nursing home. Uh, I knew the, I was friends with the kitchen manager. She needed somebody to fill a spot. So I took that job. I was like, man, I I can wash dishes. I, I know how to do that. And after working as a dishwasher, if you worked in a kitchen, you know you always need more people that can do more things. So I became first an aide, and then I became a cook. I became lead cook. Uh, I was a famously messy lead cook. And then after that, long enough, and I studied and became a kitchen manager. And that's where the CDM, CDM, CDM comes from. The CDM is a certified dietary manager. That is a credential that lets you be a manager in things like hospitals, nursing homes, prisons, any kind of like health healthcare controlled facility environment. That's what a CDM is for. And working with a CDM, I spent a lot of time with a dietitian. And the more I worked with them, the more I was curious about what they were doing. I wanted to know more about what they did. And so at the tender age of 32, I went back to school. And I went all the way back to undergrad because... Turns out that art and you know, fine art and science do not have a lot of overlap. I had to do quite a few things over again. But that eventually leads us back to here, to where we are now. I don't, I mean, I, I guess this is a five-step roadmap to success. If you want to do that, I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, there are easier ways, you know? So what's up with uh, my house? And what else can I tell you? I married my high school sweetheart. We have quite the menagerie in our house. This is from left to right. Mags, our latest acquisition, who's a rescue German Shepherd. Sam, who's a rescue border collie. The uh, ginger cat there is Iggy. And the other two cats are the white one's Kitty and the black one is Gus Gus. A little bit of a teaser here. We will try to do some live... Um, let's say live streams. That's not really exact. Like a Teams or something. So you can come in, ask questions shoot ideas with other uh, with your fellow classmates 
Iggy will almost assuredly be there walking across the desk and in my face. I don't know how he knows when I'm doing this, but he'll be there. And if I don't let him in, he will yowl and scratch at the door. So Iggy will be there. I still do the art. I still do a lot of artwork. That's what I like to do in my spare time. I used to have a studio that looked like, like that, um, which is kind of a typical or earlier typical digital art studio. Now my art studio looks a lot like this. Uh, it's Everything I do is on an iPad Pro. That little doodad it's in is called a Sketchboard Pro. That's what I do everything on now. That is my entire studio at this point. And uh, I love comic books. That's I, that's what got me into fine art. That's what got me into the art program in the first place. I loved comic books. I have ever since I was a little kid. And that's what I wanted to do first. And that's what I do too. Uh, that's a lot of my time is I read comic books if I'm not working on them. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess they may be rot your brain. I don't know. Worked out for me okay. I don't really like superhero comic books. That's not really what I'm after. What I really like is horror and sci-fi comic books. And I have kind of a, I guess, guilty pleasure for the old schlocky, pulpy horror, especially things like Tales from the Crypt. I, I don't know, something about them I find charming. They're, they're silly. They're not really that well done, I would argue. But I don't know, it's like watching a B-movie, you know? I'm also a huge lacrosse fan. Now, if you are sitting here and you're thinking, what the heck is lacrosse? Don't worry, you are not alone. I don't think there are that many fans of lacrosse out there. Lacrosse is kind of a, a, a sport that you get if hockey and basketball had a baby. Uh, there are two leagues there, and I follow both of them, two professional leagues. The indoor league is also called box lacrosse, and I follow the Buffalo Bandits. And the outdoor game, which is called outdoor lacrosse, I follow the Boston, oops, that way, the Boston Cannons. I also am a huge video game fan. I have been, again, my entire life. I've played all sorts. My two favorites are, really, I played everything from From, except Armored Core 6 at this point, which means at some point I'll have to reshoot this again, again. Uh, but yes, if anyone else has done that, I have fought the Orphan of Cause, I have fought the Elden Beast, uh, Lord of Cinder, done them all. And I am one of those obnoxious people who are like, ooh, video games are an art form, and we just don't understand how to really maximize that yet. That's, that's me. I'm also a big fan of, um, I just blanked, survival craft games. Uh, Subnautica thus far has been my favorite. And if you like video games, you like that sort of thing, and you like kind of a chill experience, I would highly recommend Subnautica. And y'all, that's a little bit about me. Um... I know that the summer semester is kind of a forced march. It's not fun. I'm going to try my best to make it fun. I honestly love doing this class. I really enjoy being able to work with everybody. Gerontology is my passion in dietetics. I'm looking forward to it. If you got any questions or concerns, you know, drop me a line. Contact me through Blackboard. You can shoot me an email over at my email address there. Other than that, I'm looking forward to meeting all of you. I hope we have a great semester, and I'll catch you all later. Thanks. Bye.